So uh, I'm Tim Carpenter from Engage, and, and uh, I wanted to let you know, in case you hadn't noticed, that Americans suck at aging. Um, we, are, we are absolutely awful at getting older. And so our, our dream at Engage is to create places where aging can happen in a much cooler way. So uh, we created these places where arts and lifelong learning take the place of getting older. Um, people who live together who are old have conversations like, how many medications are you on, and how much does your elbow hurt? And we created this, these, these places called senior arts colonies where people move in and the glue that holds the, the community together is arts and lifelong learning. So you walk downstairs and you exchange script notes, you go to classes, you learn about art, create new things. And um, when the first one started to open, uh, there was an article in the paper and a woman named Suzanne Kenodi called me on the phone and said, I'm not an artist, I'm not a musician, I'm not a dancer, I'm not any of these things, but I'm thinking I might want to move in. So I said, well, if you're not any of these things, why do you want to move in? She said, I, I have a story to tell I might be a writer. So I encouraged her to just go ahead and move into the senior arts colony in Burbank and see what happens. And her first order of business was going to a writing class, of course, downstairs. And the assignment was to write something about conflict. And she turned in a 12-page screenplay. And for those of you who are writers in the audience, starting with film writing as a writer is just outright stupid. Um, but what I really wanted was for the script not to suck because I liked Suzanne a lot and I wanted her to win. I wanted her to change the way people think about this thing. And so I started reading it and it was this thing called Bandita. And it was a story of this older woman in Burbank who rode a senior bus to a liquor store and is lowered down on her walker with, with tennis balls on the front of it. And she saunters into the place and puts on a mask from the film Scream, pulls a gun, and starts to rob the place. <laughs> and during the course of the robbery, makes friends with the older Armenian gentleman behind the counter to the point where she, she gets, away from, gets away with the crime in the end because he likes her so much. And she's sitting with her access card with the mask and the bag of money at the end of the movie waiting to get away with her access bus card. And so we, we decided we're going to make this movie. So I became a, a, a film producer. Another thing, do not become a film producer. <laughs> Uh, so we, we had casting calls in our buildings. We cast all these people who had no idea what they were doing. We hired some guy who had never directed a feature before. I think he had made a, a documentary about Tibet. Um, so it was just this crack squad of geriatrics who had no idea what they were doing. And um, her film won into competition at the Valley Film Festival. And the first time she saw her little 12-minute film was on stage weeping while she won the Audience Award at the Valley Film Festival. Um, and I do a radio show called Experience Talk, so I'm kind of sort of in the radio business. And we called up Ira Glass from This American Life and said, we've got this little, little film that could story about this little old woman who'd never done anything for herself and never written a word and wrote this film. So she made it onto the, the television show, This American Life. The, it was the first episode that, that Ira had filmed for This American Life. And so now she's stopped at Trader Joe's up the street all the time, and people ask, I got a noted Bendy to make it into the Sundance Film Festival. Um, and the reason I tell Suzanne's story is because I want to be Suzanne when I grow up. I'm kind of actually envious of Suzanne's, the end of her story and what, what that's like. And I can't wait to get older. So our, our concept at, at Engage is to create a place where that kind of stuff happens every day. You go downstairs, you take a risk. It doesn't matter what age you are. If you knock it out of the park, your life changes. Um, and we see it happen every day in our, in our world world and, and people like Suzanne doing things like this and changing their community and the surrounding community where these places are. So that is our story. I think I might have ended early. So uh, 